Guys, let's play the streamer campaign. A little bit of backstory behind this campaign. 10 Trackmania streamers were invited to build a map with the new update, myself included. I started on a map about two days before the deadline and I have procrastinated this masterfully. It's a beautiful map. We're just gonna play them in the order they are listed here. The first map here is Fuyu no Yuki by Maji. Let's see what she built. Okay, wood. Now road. I like the scenery. Uh, up. Okay, cool. Uh, what's going on here? Oh no, that's my keyboard. Never mind. My brake key got stuck. Oh, and then you full speed. Oh, this is just a full sand. Full speed. This guy is sick. Okay, that dude. What is the strangest Break request down. you've ever gotten as a streamer? Only stuff you can talk about without getting demonetized, of course. Long. Uh, there's a guy who continuously donates hundreds of dollars and asks me to make an OnlyFans. Like, and he calls me like, yeah. <laughs> Calls me things in the donations too. <laughs> uh, which is a bit weird. <laughs> I think that probably takes the cake. I've also been uh, more this wholesome than asked yeah. into people's weddings. Much love, Viet. Like, hey Virtual, do you want to attend my wedding next summer? I will fly you out. That's like, what? I don't think I can go because in weddings, you know, the focus should be on, uh, on the happy couple. And and if the guy is like a virtual super fan, I feel like it's gonna make the the wife the wife's day less special. If he's just like, yo, Dragon Eat guy is here, oh the the the, qu the top corner guy. Like, yes, my wedding was amazing. My wife said yes, but you know what? Virtual said in person, and then half has got this run. I saw him say it. He he said it right in front of me. And that's what really got me, you know? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I don't... I, I think it would make the day overall less special. <laughs> so I don't... I like weddings. I've been to weddings. It's free drinks. It's nice. It's fun. It's cool speeches and stuff, but you know... I think that there's something about the dynamic, which is weird. Also, I've been oversteering this every time, but now I got to clean. And we get a 37.8. Gold medal. Ooh. What's all the time? It's a 36.10. So I'm only a tenth away. 36.1, but like... With, uh, with the gear 5, if I survive, it's like almost instant 35 here. Finally got the 1.5 years car skin. This guy's Sigma is good. Ice Kai's V gifted a tier 1 sub to Fossabot. They have given 11 gift subs in the channel. Like that, that's a 35. Nice. And AT. It's just about getting gear 5 in this first wood landing. Which is kind of tricky. Like I said, I think the best strategy is to not sear when you land. So you make sure you get it. So on this jump here, you gotta wait, land, and then sear, and then you're in gear 5. And you have so much speed. One other thing I noticed, I can tell you guys, if you're trying to get this off time, is in this downhill, you steer and then stop in the uphill a bit. So you keep the car flat. And I went a bit wider here, so I could get a smoother trajectory. Yeah. Nice. Next one. Fishing Town by a certain streamer. <laughs> uh, this is my own map. So far, no one's gotten the AT. It's a pretty uh, doable AT once you know the path. It's a 55-33, I think. And uh, let's see. Intro skipped? Oh! I'm sorry. Ooh. We can watch it. 
Snow car second lap. Hup. There you go. My idea was to make two laps, one with the stadium car and then one with the snow car. Try to make different racing lines be faster in each lap. But here you can see the lines, so like... First lap, since you're stadium car, you have to cut to the right here. If you're trying to get this all the time. Do an auto slide, carry speed and get a lot of speed to the right here with no air time. Then land into this turn and then steer. Air brakes, you don't get landing book the snow car and then do a wide line carry speed carry speed here and then as much road as you can manage through the forest and then no slide and then ramp cut either side last turn and finish nice that's my map let's check out the next one Carlberg so this is a map I haven't seen or played, but I uh, barely saw <laughs> Carlberg place a few bushes yesterday. Like that's, that's the only thing I know about this one. But it looks uh, very transitional. Or as Carlberg might say, transition. <laughs> Transitional snow car. Yo, Parzival. Hope you had a great dream hack. Next time you'll be there, you're awesome. Bring, um... Bring... Taco. Was that, what, was that his name? Mr. Taco? Burrito. Burrito. What's his name? Oh. Okay, this is cool. Ah. This is very tense, though. You need sp oh, you might need speed here. <laughs> oh no, Carlberg. No, honestly, drivable. Still drivable. This map looks kind of sad. This is a map you just drive and you think about life. This he added rain. Nice. Dude. But I think here it's all about optimizing every transition to carry more speed. So like the less airtime you get here, all the way is gonna carry. All the way. I'm equal, but if I can get like a um, one more speed or something, two more speed, somewhere. That is so bumpy. I might be taking the transition wrong. Around here, minus 33 speed, that's not good. But I do like all these like combinations. And I think Carlberg built this all on grid. So in Trackmania, you can place blocks freely or on the block grid, and this is like... Basically with, with the no free blocking. Which is very impressive. When I build, I use so much free blocking to get the perfect jumps. Wait, I, did, I barely didn't crash and I'm just like 6 seconds behind world record. Uh, I am 2 seconds behind while driving clean and not crashing. So I still need more speed. What did Carlberg do? Okay. Like, look, that's <laughs> that's two seconds behind. Is this more speed? Oh, and then left there and I can gain- yeah, yeah, okay guys. I'm starting to unlock some secrets about this. You know what I'm realizing? A little bit of airtime is not the enemy here. The enemy is clipping the blocks. Like, a tiny bit of airtime is okay. It's just making sure that the car never clips anything. Yeah.
never clip anything. I tilted too much. Wasn't enough. So yeah, no clip there, no clip here. Clip there. Cause like this car doesn't accelerate that much. The airtime is not that bad. On stadium it really sucks. But like a pixel more airtime is gonna cost you marginally. Here? Here? It's a tough altar medal. Wow. Wow, Karlberg. Two hours for three altar medals, and we're going into Villa's map. Okay. And he kept the original AT. This AT from Villa is pretty insane. I, I know this. And since we're taking a while, I think what we might do is just get gold and then come back to this. Because this is a grind. I know Villa grind this altar medal for several hours. But it's a really sick map. He used um, he used dirt and road. Uh, oh, sorry, dirt and wood to create these cool flicks. So you flick up into a wall right here. You flick around this turn. Flick down there. Jeez, this is sharper than I thought. Uh, get onto wood and flick to the right, to the left. Go low. Around here. Drop down. Hup. Really cool map though. It's cool to uh, experiment with the different uh, the double response of snow car. That's funny. Couple day material. Maybe it's just very difficult. Is the thing. But I do hope we get to see wood and uh, snow car and stuff becoming more commonly used. It's cool how different these ideas are though. So far we've had like full speed wood. Here we have dirt and wood flicks, like a technical dirt map. Uh, we had the snow car, road car, multi-lap from me. And then really precise snow car attack from Karlberg. It's turning into a pretty good campaign. I think, I think everyone can be quite proud of what they made. Dude, 49, I'm driving 50. Gold medal's gonna be tough already. On on Villa's map. Whoa. So even with that's interesting. I think you only need one set of tires to touch the wood to still have full grip at the speed. Like one left set or right set of tires and you get you get the turns. Gear five. Hmm. Let's see. So here, yeah, do you see that? The left wheels can kind of fly off and it's okay. Oh. Hello at Wordual, I would like to order a pizza tuna. What? Tuna pizza? Why even eat pizza at that point if you're gonna put tuna on it? You're not gonna be able to enjoy a good pizza. Metal. All right, I'm not gonna try this off metal, guys. This is a sick map. I'm gonna try this after we've discovered the maps. I want to get back up to pace a little bit. Below zero by Bren. Let's have a look. Binks has a good time. Mika has a good time. But Bren, look at this author time. Wait, why did everyone drive like ridiculous author times? 
I guess it's cool, but... What maps do you already do? I've done them in orders. This is map 5, I think? Yeah. You finally got mine? Congrats! I think you have to release? Oh my god, Bran. Okay. Let's see the rest. Snow car and you drop down here? Okay, makes sense. This looks wild, honestly. This is probably very intense to drive. But I like the ideas I'm seeing. Oh, he wants you to go left side, okay. Downhill, back to stadium car. This feels so weird. Drifting now. Hop. And here. Oh, wow, okay. This is like a Trick Mania Grambling map at this point. Oh. This map is made by the current world champion, guys. Brandon Otak just won the World Cup. Oh, you spawn into an ice slide. Okay, wait. And the author time also set by the world champion. Yeah, I think you have to do, do it this way. And then back to snow car for this. Okay. Jesus. A little dank, right? What are we thinking? Are we going for this author metal? Like, we skipped Villa's one, but this one, surely. Maybe I wait for the gear up? I think I do. Better to have that for this part. Oh, you can really go with a lot of speed here. And that's gonna make the bobsleigh thing work better too. This guy's Sigma is... Dude. Yes. Alright. I mean, hey, doable. That was, that was silver. Now, I think for me today, I want to see the maps, and then tomorrow I can go for some more auto times. Just see all of them and how they look and how they play, and what the people's ideas were. Okay, is this enough for risky finish? It, it's, it's not. <laughs> That is also what you need for gold. How- wait, how far do you have to jump? That was 51.3. That was 3.2 seconds behind. Lars map is fun. I'm looking forward to it. Especially after he called my map stupid. I'm very much looking forward to it. If I see one flickering block, I'll be sure to point it out. <laughs> we need all eyes on deck to look for anything stupid on his map. Smile. We can't, we can't have this. I mean, that's basically gold, man. I know it's like three seconds behind, but it's basically gold. Nah. I didn't think I would make it. I didn't think this would make it. I trolled because I thought there's no way. Okay, here. The drop down clean. Wide left setup to get the full zoop right. No bounce ideally, but okay. 
Plus 45, but okay. Clean downhill. And pop that turn. Nice. Boom. Okay, nice! Gold medal! <laughs> Still so far! Uh, congrats, Bren, I really liked your map. Alright, let's see. Chick and ring. Maybe a- maybe a pun? This looks nice, and then the... The flick, okay. Pipes. This looks very set rt like very French. French mapping. I see the chickens. Poulet. Many poulet. Mm, right side. Jump across. Snow car. This is a cute scenery though, you're at the farm, you're driving next to the chickens. Yeah. Consider me a fan. I went the wrong way? No, I did not. I don't think. This guy's Sigma is... Dude. Can break top. I think that booster is here for double response only, but as you said. Whoa, chicken. I mean, it's. Oh, that's why that's the risky side, I see now. So here. Oh, that's tough. That's a tough jump. Nice. Okay, it works. And then you have a good setup. Okay. And there was one booster hidden somewhere here. Uh, that might be for respawns only. You kind of dig the whole custom curve extravaganza controversy. I think it's a controversy that only affects virtual. It affects more than half the player base. I think more than half the player base is keyboard. Out of the casual players. And if they get tools to help them drive snow car better and rally car and everything, it's massive. Bop. Okay, half a second. Only 1% use these tools. It's still important to have the chance to be competitive. Let's say you have the sport of basketball. And you either use shoes from manufacturer A or manufacturer B. Suddenly... Nadeo... Or the basketball... League people. Update their rules so that the shoes from manufacturer A are suddenly just way taller. Before there was no difference, but now they give them like a 10 centimeter lift. And it's very hard to switch to the other shoes because you're so used to the ones you've been using for 10 years. It's not as easy as just putting on another shoe. You actually have to learn how that shoe works. But the NBA has rules like this. It's not a good analogy. It's the same when I say like, someone tells me like, Virtual, can you change the music volume? It's a bit louder than usual. And I go like, can't you see I'm competing in couple today? Would you ever ask Usain Bolt to change, you know, something about how he's competing in the middle of his race? Then chat will say, bro thinks he's Usain Bolt, lol. Instead of trying to understand what I'm saying, like you're intentionally misunderstanding what I'm saying. But that was a pretty good time. 
I do think I'm Usain Bolt. So let's see, Snow Kaido by Spam. Beautiful scenery. Look at this effort. The balloons, I like it. Uh, I believe the theme is wet wood. Let's play it. I have not played a lot of wet wood before. And the reactors do help. It, it feels kind of flowy. There's a gear I have to watch out for there. Cam 1 is pretty tough. This hill, and then... Okay, snow car. Hup. Uh. Uh. Oh, wow. Wait, let's do that again. Oh, the balance. Okay. Oh, there's gonna be a terrible respawn. Okay. And then, ah, oh, finish here. Yeah. Nice. Some people have switched the keyboard, uh, played the keyboard their entire life. Switching to controller is not that easy. It's not that easy, and it's also not fun. Especially when now they have made a lot of changes in favor of controller. In the things that keyboard have been overpowered on. Like flat ice. And it's also like, keyboard has been equal in stadium for 15 years. Ooh. It makes very little sense to change that now. But wow, this flows pretty nicely, no? It's so interesting to see, like, we were all given the same task. And look at how differently we, uh, we all approached it. People so wide here. Months. Yeah, 31 speed more. Um. How do you reset your brain after grinding snow car? The stadium car feels so <laughs> feels slow so when I go back to it. Heavy feels and so slow. slow. Man. Yeah. It's the funniest thing to come from this update is uh, Trekmania subreddit posts. Like, guys, did they change the sensitivity of the car? Did they change the stadium car sensitivity? Why is it not steering enough anymore? Did Nadeo mess up? And it's from people who've been playing way too much snow car and then it, everything feels heavy. So I think this map, the, the one thing I would say is like, it's cool, but it's... It's very hard. To drive. But it's also a unique concept, so... Just maybe a little bit more space some places would be nice. Midori moment. You know what? I think I deserve that because that's kind of the time spam had on Midori for a while. It's a great start. And that's the true Midori experience as well, because I get get it by a couple hundreds. <laughs> okay. In Norwegian, you say G. But okay. Trilogous map. Uh huh. What? <gasps> Wait, I understand. Oh. So the first lap is with Stadium Car, and you have to do this trick. But then the second lap is going to be with the Snow Car, and you can do the Wall Hug. Uh huh. Hmm. 
Okay. What do we have here? I'm full speeding. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay. Stadium car. Drift. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this. Ah, smart. It's a different second lap. With link checkpoints, I think. Oh no, no slides. Ah, where? Hopefully not too bad. <laughs> this is fine. Okay. Okay. Uh. Uh. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Okay. Snow car slow is kind of nice. Yeah. Sounds fine. Uh, I like this. It's a difficult map, but it's cool. Cool concept. I was scared that we would have the same thing, that his would also be multi-lap in the same way, but we did something different. Two different concepts. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Yeah, two seconds there already. Okay. Here are the speed resets. A good drift will still carry into the next lap. I'm done. No drift down here, nice. No drift here, ah. All good. Dude, it's so fast. 116 is so fast. The map lives up to its name. Snowballing speed. I'll try to beat the author time at some point. Uh, Yannick's map, is it gonna have another insane AT? I don't know, is it? It doesn't look too insane right now, but... <laughs> wait, what happened? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, snow car? So you gotta bounce into the stadium car and then... He used the landing bug on purpose. Okay, that's kind of sick. Yeah, you get a landing bug into a backflip. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm guessing it's here. It could... No, is it... What if it's here? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's here. Wet wood. Okay, that's stadium. Oh, it's like an RPG kind of thing. Yeah, this is a RPG map, obstacle map. So you go here and then you flick around, I think, into this. Whoa, hang on. Okay, now we have wet tire snow car, okay. This map really activates all the neurons, all the brain cells. I think you just go left. Yeah, you do. Such a clear path. I think it's uh, intentionally not. Backwards again? Wait. Oh, 
Oh, you double respawn. Ah, it's a double respawn. No, guys, you gotta you gotta treat this as a different like mapping style. If you're trying to fit this into a regular box, it doesn't work. This is like a complex jazz melody, and you're comparing it to a pop song and saying it's not pop. It's not like a pop song, and that's the what's that's the theme. Jazz is trash, though. Uh, yeah. You're not being fair to, uh, <laughs> to Jazz or the map. Nope. I like it. And what I like about this too is like, this it's, guy's Sigma is it's daring. Okay, it's daring. Kill. I didn't take many risks with my map. I think it's almost full speed start. I think if you dare, you can full speed the start. So you drop in here. Boom. I, it's almost like I want to just wall hit one time there. Oh my god. Oh my no 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 no. It's gonna happen again. Oh it didn't. Okay. Okay. Clipped. Probably fine. Yes. Ooh. Okay, nine <laughs> seconds to go. Okay, yeah, I mean, there's at least a lot to gain right here if I get through. Ah, uh, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, dude, that's cool, though. I did the beginner trap. I'm going a bit early on this last thing as well. 58. Something in the wet tire snow car part, I think. For sure. Okay, that's a little better. More speed here. Ah, and then right. Four. With more speed, maybe five. No, still four. Nice. Guys, I have no idea how they did a 51. I think I'm happy with this for now, too. So this is the final map by, by Lars to complete the streamer campaign. I would say so far the author times have been uh, quite wild. What is this? Cup. I had his stream open when he was making this, as I was making my map, so I wasn't really paying attention, but... So another, like, obstacle map. Yeah, I can see a lot of people not being able to finish this. <laughs> Unless there's uh, good safe ways. Nice. Wall bank. It's cool, huh? There's probably some, some flow to this that I haven't seen yet. Since I'm just discovering where to even go. Here and then bumper across. Aha. Uh -huh. Is there a shortcut on the inside here? There is. I think my respawn is just terrible. Because I know this is possible, but it's just so hard with the respawn I have. <laughs> okay, wait. I really want to do it though. Okay, so we made it up. 
and then you drop into this. Hang on. Oh, heck. There's a boost for double respawn? Yeah, sure, but like, I wanna get a feeling for this jump anyways. I see the, the boost drop pad. Okay, through here. Oh, this is heavy. Okay. Snow car and stadium car. Ha! Oh, you need so much speed. Can you get it under? Okay, I guess you can get it under. I just had a bad speed number. Hmm. Are they made to be like... Is there two endings? Okay, let's try the stadium car. Oh! Well, that's cool. <laughs> Maps like this in RMC, <laughs> yeah. You get this one in RMC and you don't know the path? Holy. Can just reset on the spot. No, but the same thing goes for this map as with uh, Yonix's map. You can't treat it like a couple delay track. Or a regular campaign track. It is an obstacle map. Different genre of mapping of music, if you will. Ah, it's just lower, okay. This uh, sand drift is very heavy. Like, the car is so heavy here. Okay, almost have the speed, I think. Isn't it time for main campaign? No, no, no. This is just... Now, Dale didn't give us any direction, they just said build a map. So it's not gonna make it to the main game campaign. No YouTube stream? No, I didn't have time to set it up today. But I am in the stream both places more often, of course. Just not every day. Today, I'm just hanging out with you to ch chat. Boom. That was nice. I think just taking platform early here is super good. Yeah, two seconds. And now, try to get this. Oh, that's... Okay. With a respawn as well. And the respawn made me stand still. I can beat this all the time, I think. Don't forget that Lars said my map was stupid. It is time to make my statement. Lars, your map Your map is different than mine. And I respect our different creative approaches. And I just hope, the only thing I hope is that you unpublish this from the random map challenge queue. Thank you. <laughs> That's the only thing. I like the map, just don't put it in RMC. <laughs> Forty-five-seven. Do you know any interesting facts about the Sphinx? Uh, yes, actually. There are some people that claim the Sphinx is very old. Like, exceptionally old. Compared to the, uh, the, the pyramids. They claim that it could be 10,000 years old, if not more. Uh, and the, the reason is, is not baseless. It's because if you look at the enclosure walls of the Sphinx, uh, there are this huge patterns of erosion which can happen from water or from wind or from sand but um, doesn't really rain a lot 
at Giza, and there's these huge patterns of, like, a lot of erosion on the rocks. So the theory goes that, well, okay. Um, hang on. Oh my god. This is gonna PB. I do not want this PB. Oh my god! <laughs> this felt like a slow run. I wasn't even taking it serious. Maybe they just liked granite. Look, you need to love granite to transport it 900 kilometers in the Nile River. <laughs> you need to really love granite to do that. And maybe they did. Maybe they had a thing for it. But like, that's pretty high commitment. That's such a fun time too. Four, four, five, five, five. Nice. I like the digits. <laughs> that was a hot ending. I was scared it was gonna like boost me away from the finish or something.